Hey guys, welcome back to the Anti-Gravity Room. Today, one of our subscribers asked if we could do a tutorial for the Dragon Ball Z card game. So we're going to do a quick game and uh, slow down and kind of show you what's what and how everything works. Lex is also pretty new to this game. Hi. So she's going to have to take it slow with you guys. So hopefully it'll be a good chance for you to learn. So we start the game. We have our masteries in play. I'm playing Goku with the orange adapted mastery. Frieza. And she's playing Red Ruthless Mastery. So what the Orange Mastery does is my drills aren't discarded when I advance a level. And my energy attacks deal plus one life cards of damage. That's cool. Uh, the Red Ruthless, Ruthless Mastery, uh, the power uses when entering combat, banish this uh, the top card of your discard pile. If you banish a styled card... Red card. Red card. Uh, your red physical attack, this combat, deals plus two stages of damage and gains hit. Lower your opponent's anger by one. Very nice. So you can mill the top one off your discard to make your red attacks better. So we all we both start the game five power levels above zero. So you should have a scouter or, or something to kind of keep track. 19,000. I am at 4,000. That is uh, significantly, <laughs> significantly less than what you want to start. Then you want to make sure your anger levels are both at anger level one. If you don't have anything to keep track, you just use like a piece of paper or a penny or something like that. There we go. So I'll start off as the first player. So when starting off as the active player, I'll draw three cards. Now we'll go into the, what's called the planning or the setup phase. I can play any non-combats, setups, or drills onto the field to use later. I'm going to play orange celebration setup. So I place the setup down. It doesn't activate yet. I have to use it later on in combat. But when I do it, it'll search my life deck for a drill and put it into play. So then we go to the power up step. I power up my PUR, which is two plus one if I'm using a mastery, so three. So I'll go one, two, three. And now my power level is at 7,000. Now it's my choice if I want to um, go into combat. Uh, as the active player, I only have two cards in my hand, one of which I'll tell you right now is in an event. So I'm not really too keen on going into combat, so I'll pass the turn. Now, if you didn't enter the combat step, you would normally rejuvenate one card from your discard pile to the bottom of your life deck, but because this is the beginning of the game, that doesn't happen. So now it's off to Lex's turn. And I draw three cards. Okay. So then she'll play any setups or drills that she has. I do not have any setups nor drills. So then she passes to what's called the power-up step, and she powers up her PUR level plus one. So three, one, two, three, to sixty-four thousand. And now you have the choice if you want to enter combat or you can pass and discard down to two cards left in your hand. Hmm. Okay, so I have um, an energy attack costing two stages. So you're gonna enter combat. I'm entering combat. You always three. have to declare you're entering combat oh. first. That way your opponent can draw three cards. Okay, so okay. she's going to start by using her energy attack. And this costs two stages. One, two. So first, you always resolve the cost of the card first. And resolve the text of the card before damage is finished being... So it raises my anger by two? Is that what that says? Well, because this is a hit condition, you'll see on the card, it actually activates after it's hit. But normally cards are activated beforehand. Okay. This is a special case. So you paid your two. Yep. You're firing the energy. For I have to decide cards. if I want to stop it. I have nothing that can stop it. So it's going to deal four life cards of damage. So now we'll go here. One life card. Two life cards. Three life cards. Four life cards of damage. And because it hit, she has her secondary effect, which... If you have dealt critical damage this combat, 
raise your anger level by two. She has not. Oh, no, I did not. Deal critical damage. Critical damage is considered five or more lifeguards. Oh, I see. Okay. So that goes to the grave, and that's it. So that's her first attack. Now, I'll attack. And as my attack, I'm going to actually use my setup card as my attack. So I use it to search my life deck for a style drill and put it into play, and then remove this from the game after use. So we'll put that right there. So I search my deck for any style drill. And I'm gonna get... Here it is. Orange Joint Restraint Drill. All of my physical attacks deal plus four stages of damage while that's on the field. Wow. Continuously. So now, that was my attack, and it's back to her attack again. Okay, and I don't draw any cards? Nope. No? Okay. Um, okay, so I'm choosing between an event and a physical combat, so this might just take me a moment. Okay, so I'm actually... Um, when I'm draw or doing an event card, do I have to still like declare that I'm attacking? That's you use the okay. event card as an attack. As an attack, okay. So I'm. So do you draw three cards then? No, no, no. We only draw three cards okay. when the beginning of combat starts. Okay. That's it. So this event uh, raises my anger by one. For the remainder of combat, your opponent's attacks deal minus three stages and minus three life cards of damage. And remove from the game and after the use. Remove from the game. Just one. Okay. So then it goes back to my turn to attack. I'm going to use this orange offensive strike. It's an energy attack costing one stage. Then I search my life deck for a copy of orange offensive strike and put it in my hand. And then I banish it from the game after use, and it deals two life cards to you. So you can use to stop an energy attack if you can, or you can let it go through. For this two. doesn't specify to what attack it is, it's just minus, minus three, three. Minus three, so that kicks in, and yep. it does nothing. So all I did was search my deck for another one, therefore thinning out my deck to grab, draw what I want mm -hmm. quicker. So that was my attack. Now it's your attack. Okay, so I have I will be attacking, and I have a physical combat. Okay. Red power lift adds a physical attack that stops the next physical attack performed against you this combat. The damage is the AT plus three stages. So she looks up her power level on the attack table, which is 34, versus my 6,000. That puts her in the C column to my B column. And that'll do two stages of damage. Plus three. Plus three. So five stages of damage unless I stop a physical attack. I'm going to use this card here Ooh. called Orange Confidence. It stops a physical attack, raises my anger level one. Oh, snap. And my attack table is now considered four for the rest of this combat. Oh, wow. But can't use any physical attacks because you stopped the rest of them for this combat <laughs> with that last card. So, I think I'm going to use this just to try and get some of my, uh, of my anger level back. So I'm going to use Orange Eruption Energy Attack. It costs me one stage and raises my anger two levels. And it'll lower yours by two. And deals two life cards minus three, no life. You're free this, so you just sit there and take it. Yeah, I do. And now it would go back to her turn. She is out of cards. She has no powers that she can activate and no setups. So she would pass. Yep. Then it would go on to me. And I could continue to attack if I wanted to. I, uh... I think I'm going to pass as well, though. And that ends her combat step of her turn because she initiated the combat. After that, she discards down to only two cards in her hand, but since she has zero, she skips that phase as well. And then it goes back to my active turn. So, I have to also discard 
one of these cards before I go. And now I draw three for my turn. Then I can place any drills, non-combats, or setups. And I actually drew quite a few. I have Orange Aurora Drill, Orange Empower Drill, and I drew a second copy of Orange Joint Restraint. Now we'll note that you can't have two copies of the same drill in play, so this will have to remain in my hand. Then, I go to the, my power up step, blah, my power up step, two, plus one for my mastery, and my drill says my main personality's power up is also plus one. So I'll be powering up four, which puts me at my maximum power level which is over 9,000. Then I decide if I want to go into combat. Well, because you already know one of my cards is a non-combat, I'm already low on resources. So I'm going to actually rejuvenate one card off the top by skipping my combat step. And then I have to discard down to two cards. I'll discard my extra copy of that drill. So that ends my turn, and now the active turn is back over to Lex. Okay. Okay, so I finally have a setup for once. So I'm just going to put this right here. Red Blaze. My power is Razor Anger, level by 1, Rejuvenate 2. You may use a critical damage effect. It's pretty good. Excellent. So remember, she's just playing that onto the field. She has to activate that as an attack during the combat step. Yes. So after you've played all your setups and your drills, make sure you go to your power-up step. My power-up step is two. Plus one for your mastery. Two, three. Getting there. I need to get my anger up. So now you can decide if you want to pass. Um, when you have less than three cards, it's always a good idea to pass combat. I was just about to pass, yeah. All right, so you take this card and put it at the bottom of your deck. Okay. And that's it. And then play proceeds to me again. I would draw three. Play any non-combats or drills. I have none. Go to the power-up step. I'm at full. I have five cards in my hand. So we're going to do a conflict step. So I'm going to enter combat. And now Lex will draw her three cards as the defender. One, two, three. Okay, and I'm going to start off with my first attack. My first attack is actually going to be my power on my character card. You can use that if it is an attack once per combat. I'm going to use Goku's, which is an energy attack costing two stages. I pay for that. And it damages for three life cards plus one. And my energy attacks deal plus two because of this drill. So I'm dealing six life cards of damage from an energy attack, unless she can stop it. The sad news is, is that I have nothing to stop your attack. So it goes through, and she would shave six cards off. One, two, three. No endurance. Four. Here we go. So now as you hit four... This would be the fifth card normally, but because it has endurance cost two, you can remove it from the game to have it count as that number of cards during damage. So this would actually count as five and six by removing it from the game. Mm -hmm. Not all cards have endurance, but some do, and it helps with deck building because you can be a little bit tougher, so to speak. Um, so that was my attack, and because I hit... I may discard a card from my hand to search for a style drill. I have all the drills I really want in play, so I'm not going to use that part. So, passes to her now. Okay. So, first off, I'm going to put down a drill. Uh, red hunting. You can't put down a drill unless it's your active turn. I thought it was my active turn. No, your active turn means your oh, defending okay. player right now on my turn. Okay. During combat. So you'd have to wait until your next turn to play that drill. Okay, so because you're not attacking, I can attack right now. Yes, it well, I am attack. I just attacked. You attack. Now you attack me back. And that continues until we're done. And then it'll go to your turn. 
and then you decide if combat, and so on and so forth. If you guys are teaching somebody, make sure to be patient with them, because the vocabulary in this game of combat within combat is sometimes confusing to people. As you can see, Lex is <laughs> quite perplexed by what's happening, but it's actually really simple. It's just, they're overthinking it. Okay, so I'm attacking. Mm -hmm. And I have a physical attack here that raises my anger by one. My drills are not um, discarded when changing levels as combat. The damage is AT plus four. Okay, so first she's gonna raise her anger level by one. Yep. Her drills are not discarded when she changes levels this combat, but chances are she's not going to advance the level anyway. Then it's AT plus 4. So she's 79,000, which puts her in the C grade versus me in the B grade. So that'll be 2 plus 4 six. is 6 stages of damage from a physical attack. I can't stop a physical attack, so I'll have to be forced to take 6 stages. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six. And that was a big hit. So now combat passes to me. I'm going to use this card called Confrontation. Look at my opponent's hand and choose a card and oh shuffle no. it back into their deck. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this red back kick. I'll put it in the middle of her deck here for the sake of saving time. <laughs> and that was my attack. I used an event card to do that. So now it's her attack again. Okay. So I'm going to use this red heating beams. It's an energy attack costing one stage. So she puts her thing down one. Um, I may lower my anger level by one to draw a card, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just simply going to go to my damage, and it's for three life cards. Three I life cards. Banish the card after. Okay, so I can't stop that, so I'll deal three life cards directly to my deck. One, two, and three. So now it's my turn to attack her. I'm going to use Orange Precise Shot. It's an energy attack, costing me one stage of uh, power, and it does three life cards, plus two, plus one, six life cards from an energy attack. Oh my goodness. And I can't stop that, so it's one, two. Because of endurance, she removes that one. Three, four, five, six. That's it. Oh yeah, okay, cool. You're good. Sorry, went a little overboard there. And then, <laughs> if I hit, I can search your deck for a card. For the sake of saving time, I'll just take this card, remove it from the game, and raise my anger level by one. This puts me to five, which is the maximum. Once you hit that, you take your next level card. So that was a level one Goku, so I take level two, Goku and Kaioken form. Oh, snap. And you put them at their maximum power level. All drills are discarded. However, my orange style mastery says that they're not, but normally they would all be gone. And if you have a new combat effect, it's refreshed. So if you used your level one power and now you have a new level two power that's usable, you could still use your level two power. Um, that was my attack though, so now it's your attack. Okay, so I'm actually going to pass. So then it goes back to me. I will use a physical attack while I'm reasonably strong. I lower my opponent's anger two levels. Oh my goodness. And then I look up my attack, which is 33,000 to your 64,000. We're both in bracket C, so it'll do one stage of damage plus four stages of Oh my goodness. So five, five stages of damage from a physical five attack. Five stages, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. And then it's her turn to attack me. Even if I just pass? Is that yeah. Turn before? Yeah, we both have to pass before combat will end. So I can just keep pummeling you if you have nothing left to do. Okay, well then I might as well just use this. I'm going to do 
this again, which I had done before, where... Okay, one stage. One stage of that. And this uh, deals three life card damage with energy. Okay, and I can't stop that, so another three. One, two, three. Now, I have a question. Sure. Because my anger is at the lowest that it can be, I can't lower my anger to draw a card, right? Correct. Okay. I have to banish this after. I forgot. So now, it's my turn. I'm going to pass. I'm passing. And she passes. That ends combat when both players pass, and it proceeds to the next player's active turn, which would be her again. Now, this is all we're going to show you for today, because I think you have the gist. Um, we're going to do another video regarding Dragon Balls and Allies. That's a whole separate can of worms. But with the starter decks, you shouldn't have too many of those mechanics coming into play. This should be more than enough to get you to learn the game and understand. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And just remember, play proceeds until one person is out of cards. When they're out of cards, they lose. Or... After getting anger and advancing your personality, if you advance to your highest level 4 personality and manage to get your anger to maximum again, thus the hypothetical level 5, you win the game because you're the most powerful personality. That is the other way to win the game. So with those two options for victory in mind, go out and build your decks and... Uh, Ask any questions or comments. We're going to have a couple more videos up, so make sure to check them out. And I think that's it. Like, share, subscribe. See you later, guys.